friends i am architect sonorai and today i am present with another uh, video and in this video today i am going to discuss about more tools in user interface which are given here and here so uh, in the lower part of this revit uh, drawing area so today we will discuss one by one about what are these tools used for suppose if this is a floor plan of any building and uh, these are all walls doors and windows which are applied here if you are going here it is written 1 is to 100 so this represents a scale a scale of any floor plan 1 is to 100 and in this there are a lot of scales and uh, these all drawings are in mm or meter so if these are in mm so it's representing 1 is to 50 1 is to 25 and suppose it is in feet and inches so it will a scale will be in feet and inches suppose from 1 is to 100 i am changing is to 1 is to 50 so if this drawing dimensions has become a small and uh, drawing area is displaying as per 1 is to 50 scale so this will become familiar in later videos so these first things represents about scale so i am making it 1 is to 100 again and in this next this is known as detail uh, level means uh, what, what is the detail level of this wall so when you are making uh, this way uh, by default in repeat it will be in course so course is a less detail then after that a medium and then fine to understand this suppose uh, if i am making it uh, this is by default in uh, if you are say, i'm clicking it the property is saying basic wall exterior brick on metal stud so suppose uh, if you want to see more details suppose you if you want to see more details about this you have to go here and from course to uh, i am changing is to medium so you, you are clearly saying the detail has increased from course to medium so more details is showing here and again if some more details are added in this this then you can make it fine so in final you will come to know about more details and in the next thing it is given visual style this is graphic display option means visual style this shows how much uh, in this you are seeing this is, there is a realistic consistent color shaded colors hidden line wireframe and on top of this this is the written graphic display option so to better understand this we, i will take you to, to uh, 3d view so I, suppose i am taking it to this this is the 3d view of the building and if you are going to visual style this is showing hidden line so this drawing is in hidden line hidden line is that in which you can you will see the outer line like this and but you are not able to see the interior lines inside interior of any building so suppose from uh, hidden line i'm making it wireframe to see the interior lines also walls interior walls interior doors windows everything in other software also wireframe is given for that we used to uh, use wireframe in wireframe you will see all the interior lines also of doors windows furnitures everything so uh, this uh, uh, also sometimes useful and again from hidden line wireframe we will go to shaded shaded used to show means shaded region in whatever uh, colors you have put in out this this is shaded region again if you are going to uh, consistent colors whatever colors you have used this will be shown in colors blue red yellow whatever colors we have used here it is green and some colors so it is in consistent colors it will show colors only but if you are going to realistic this will show realistic view before rendering so uh, suppose here uh, we have applied some brick textures 
so that brick textures will only be shown in realistic view whatever texture like grass here it is shown in realistic view and uh, the last one is ray trace ray trace you will be showing your uh, rendering uh, in ray trace mode is this you will just show uh, the after rendering how it will look in ray trace so yeah, ray trace is uh, not that much used because it, it it takes lot of time in revit to show the rendered part for that we'll have to wait so in interactive ray trace mode you are seeing the rendered portion in this so after that this is ray trace again if you want to go to our from uh, ray trace to i am taking it you to hidden line so we have come back to hidden line so these are very useful and again you will in later videos i will tell you about uh, more detail about this sun setting and all this shadow this sun setting used to see the geographical position of the sun path diagram if you will uh, here it is uh, cross sign is there in shadow also it is cross and when you will click it click the sun then it will uh, ask sun path on sun path off sun setting sun setting will discuss later again I, if you want to put sun in this scene you will just put sun path on and this portion will come use the specified project location date and time state that means you have to select your preferred customized uh, locations like in India or continue with the current state or whatever Revit is by default setting is there so for time being we will use continue with the current setting detail it's and setting will I will I will show in later videos so I will, I am going with continue with the current setting so uh, sun path is on I will take you to a realistic view so in this you are saying sun path is there again uh, in uh, I am making a uh, shadow also is showing cross sign mean that means off make it on you have to uh, click it and the building will show shadow also the saying is a shadow shadow reason here the shadow will be available only will you when you will click shadow on when you will make it off shadow will disappear so th these are many settings are there that will come to understand in later videos this is uh, known as rendering this is for do the final rendering or uh, test rendering whatever the rendering if you want to render your things you have to just click this rendering and this rendering dialog will open after that it is uh, after many settings are there then we'll click render that will uh, will understand later this is known as crop view so crop view is for showing uh, means if you want to show if you, if you are taking print and you want to uh, crop it then you will use crop view and uh, for understand this I feel I'm going to this level plan and I'm clicking crop view so it will show uh, crop region and uh, so crop region uh, 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 I'm clicking crop view after that show crop region when you click it this region will show crop region will show then we can click it and edit according to our preferred size when you are taking your print or you are making adjustment on sheets like a1 a2 a3 a4 that we can use to crop it like this first you have to click crop view and then you have to show crop region and again if you want to hide crop region you have to just click it the uh, region will disappear so this is very handful while taking print and this is temporary hide isolate there's some spec shape is there to understand it i will take it you to 3d view suppose 
uh, if you want to see the means interior furniture and this roof is uh, big, uh, is, is uh, like a hindrance in your uh, visualization so if suppose i want to look at interior parts so i will just go look, uh, go to here click it and i will go to this temporary hide isolate i'll click it and then and then i will i can, i will select hide element then you are seeing clearly roof is not visible it is in a hide mode and again if you want to uh, visualize any interior portion you can visualize suppose this uh, i'm clicking this wall and going here and hide element so this will disappear but it will not go from your project for for temporary time being we have to hide to better visualization of our space whatever the space is again if you want to bring it back you have to click reset temporary hide isolate so everything will come back and yes there are many settings suppose if you want to see only columns here i will uh, you, if you want to edit columns or whatever i am selecting this column and i am going to isolate category so this will show only column portion this is I, this will column will become isolate and then if you want to edit anything we used to edit so uh, later in uh, later videos we'll come to understand what are the more uses of this then again if you want to bring a reset hide temporary you have to click it again we'll come to come back to and suppose if i am uh, selecting this window and i am going to isolate element so this single only window will become isolate anything if you want to edit stairs also doors also you will click element so it will just isolate element and before it was all category isolate category means whole window category will isolate and again you have to click reset temporary hide isolate and again if you are uh, selecting suppose uh, this wall and if you are going to hide element the wall will disappear so this is very handful while uh, in many planning we'll use this again uh, in after that this is reveal hid hidden element this reveals any hidden element this used to reveal any hidden parts of the building this is this used after that this is temporary view properties what is temporary view properties this uh, if you are clicking here temporary enable temporary view properties these are used in structural uh, calculations like if you want to uh, analyze beams columns whatever these are mainly used by in a structural uh, revit and this uh, so analytical model also these are also used for showing analysis of any structure columns beams that i will show example if i if i am going to so uh, in this this is hide analytical model so this uh, if you click so uh, analytical model this will show some structural analysis like this again this high, highlights displacement set suppose if you want to show everything in uh, isolate form just i am clicking this roof and here is command displace elements so it will it creates a view specific representation of model elements that can be displaced in view the, um, that means it will show exploded views so if i am clicking it and uh, some uh, gizmo will come then after that if you will select this highlight displacement set this will highlight in green line this displacement set so these are also sometimes used after that this is reveal constraint so that we have to understand what is reveal constraint suppose if i am taking you to level 1 and 
I am clicking reveal constraints. So what are constraints that reveal constraints is uh, means constraints it will show all the constant dimensions and uh, like doors and uh, or tags everything that will show in reveal elements suppose like any aligned elements or thing that used to see in this reveal constraint this outer region is shown in this line uh, color color line and uh, this this is our constraint this i have aligned this wall to this wall so it will show in this color line rest every this floor plan will be in half tone mode that means faded colors so suppose if i am clicking here if you want to make any changes you can unlock this or simply delete this constraint so this is for useful for aligned and what are the constraints that we need to understand constraints are is always in this grid line whatever in between colors that uh, is in blue line that is known as constraint so constraint means like this dimensioning and all this suppose uh, if i am hiding uh, uh, this reveal element suppose if i am taking you to wall and uh, better i am drawing some wall here so this blue line this is known as dash line this is the known as constraint this blue line is known as constraint so in revit this constraint means this line and dimensioning and all like this so for today this is uh, videos i am i have introduced doing the uh, next video we'll understand about this thanks for watching if you like my videos please subscribe like and share and give your comments this is very easy to understand all this because these are very useful for our later projects so we need to understand user interface one by one so in next video i will discuss about this thanks thanks for watching